this lecture we'll see uh, two design problems that is design of a synchronous modulus 6 up counter and we'll see synchronous counter should go through some predetermined states that is 0 to 3 then 3 to 5 then 5 to 6 and come back to 0 again right so here we have to remember one point is synchronous counter can go through any state to any state it is not only you know it should follow some up counting sequence that is 0 1 2 3 and so on or down counting that is 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 no it can go through any state to any state so that we can design so that we will see and also we will uh, see some of the problems in uh, synchronous counters that is called either self starting or lockout problems so that also we will discuss so first we will see this uh, modulus 6 synchronous counter design always the step one is how many number of flip flops required so modulus 6 means so it should do the 6 counts so n is less than or equal to 2 power n so the minimum number of flip flops required is 3 here so 3 means it can count up to 8 counts but we can stop in between as 6 then what is the state diagram so here I said it is mod 6 up counter so up counter means initial state will be always triple zero then zero zero one then zero one zero then zero one one then one zero zero then one zero one so zero one two three four five so after five it should come back to zero again see one two three four five six total six counts so this is the state diagram for modulus six up counter right so we can draw like this also 0 1 2 3 4 5 and come back to 0 again right so total 6 counts 0 to 5 minutes total 6 counts then once we uh, draw the state diagram then we have to see which type of flip flop we are using and what is the excitation table that is choice of flip flop and excitation table so this is the sequence I require the present state and the next state and this is the excitation table of this JK flip flop. So here I am using JK flip flop, right? So using these states and this excitation table, so we have to find the required excitations for this JK flip flop. So here I need three flip flops, so J2, K2, J1, K1, and J0, K0. Now when I want to find the required excitation for J2 and K2, we have to see for only the Q2 to Q2. So present state Q2 and the next state Q2. So what is those values? So 0 to 0, 0 to 0, 0 to 0. So 3 zeros are there. See 0 to 0 means what is the inputs required? 0, don't care. 0, don't care. 0, don't care. Then 0 to 1, there is a toggling. So 0 to 1 means here 1, don't care. So 1, don't care. Then 1 to 1, it is fixed. So 1 to 1 means here, don't care, 0. Last one is 1 to 0. So 1 to 0 is here, don't care, 1. Similarly, we can uh, fill 0 to 0, that is a Q1. So 0 to 0 means 0, don't care. Then 0 to 1, it is 1, don't care. 1 to 1, don't care 0. Then 1 to 0, don't care 1. So using this uh, excitation table only, I am filling. Then 0 to 0, this is 0, don't care. 0 to 0, 0, don't care. Then the last one, Q0. So 0 to 1, 1 to 0. 0 to 1, 1 to 0. 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Always the Q0 will toggles. So 0 to 1 means, 1 don't care so 1 to 0 means don't care 1 and it, it will repeat that is 1 don't care don't care 1 1 don't care don't care 1 right so once we fill this table if we can easily find what is j0 and k0 see always it is uh, either 1 or don't care that means j0 is equal to k0 is equal to i can have 1 because i can make a octet using this three variable k map because there is two unstable states are there there is a 1 0 1 after 1 1 0 1 there is a 1 1 0 and triple 1 so this two, uh, these two states are unstable states so in those states also we will make it as don't care only so that i can make a octet so that's why we will get j naught is equal to k naught is equal to 1 so anyway we will see the k map so once we done like this we have to use k map to min get the minimal expansion for this j2 k2 and j1 k1 so this is the k maps so for j2 we have to transform these values into this k map that is 0 0 0 then 1 2 don't care then these two state that is a uh, 6 and 7 are 
unstable states I will use as don't care only so I can make simple one pair like this so J2 is equal to simply Q1 Q0 right next K2 so here I have to transform three don't cares yeah, actually four don't cares then 0 1 and these two are uh, unstable so I can use don't cares again so here I can make as this he one quad something like this right using the don't care so k2 will be what's q1 is common q0 next j1 so 0 1 2 don't cares then two zeros then two don't cares so these are the unstable so i'm using don't cares so again i can make as i cannot make any quad so but i can make a pair something like this so j1 will be q2 bar this is q0 then the last one q1 so two don't cares 0 1 2 don't cares so these are also two don't cares again here i can make a quad like this so what is k1 so k1 is equal to again q0 right so this is the expressions for j2 k2 and this is j1 and k1 so we have known what is j0 and k0 both are given to 1 because the q0 always it's uh, toggling mode right so once we know these uh, what you call uh, the minimal expressions the next step is we have to draw the logic diagram so these are the three flip-flops and i have used positive edge trigger then what is the j0 k0 so should be given to 1 1 next what is j1 so j1 we got q2 bar q0 so i have to use one and gate here and this and gate output will be given to j1 so one input comes from the q2 bar something like this then one one input is coming from the see q2 so what is this j2 yeah, j1 j1 right so q2 bar q0 so where is q0 something here so this is q2 bar this is q0 next this is j1 is over what is q1 k1 is q0 so take from this and give it here see j1 is q0 q2 bar k1 is q0 next k2 is also again q0 but j2 is q1 q0 so again I have to use one and gate to for J2. K2 is Q0 only. So take from this connect like this. And K2 is Q1 Q0. So Q1 is coming here. Q0 I have to take from this something like this. This is Q1 Q0. This is Q0. Right? So flip flop we can name the flip flops also flip flop 0, flip flop 1, flip flop 2 right so this is the design of modulus 6 synchronous up counter now here i told you one problem or uh, is there any problem or also suppose it count triple zero to one zero one suppose if it is going to one one zero or if it is goes to triple one what will happen will it come back to the sequence or not we'll check so this is q2 q1 q0 we know j2 is equal to what here q1 q0 j1 is equal to q0 similarly sorry this is k2 then j1 is equal to q2 bar q0 k1 is equal to q0 so we'll check what is happens see present state suppose 110 so q2 is 1 q1 is 1 so what is j2 will become q1 q0 q1 q0 means i'll get 0 k2 is q0 q0 is 0 then j1 q2 bar q0 so q0 means i'll get 0 next q1 q1 means sorry k1 means q0 so what is q0 again 0 so j2 k2 0 0 j1 k1 0 0 that means what so <coughs> now q2 q1 so this is q2 this is 1 q1 1 then this is 0 right so this is the present state the moment we apply the clock what will happen so that is j2 k2 will be 0 0 that means it will maintain the same state so this is the next state 
so q2 q1 q0 so q2 is maintaining the same state j1 and k1 is also 0 0 so q1 is also maintaining the same state right but what happened to q0 q0 inputs are always 1 so that means it will toggle the output so 1102 it is changed to triple 1 then we will see first triple 1 also if present state is triple 1 so what is the next state we will get so again j2 means q1 q0 so q1 into q0 so it is 1 k2 q0 so it is also 1 next j1 q2 bar q0 so q2 bar means i will get as 0 right next k1 q0 so k1 means 0 1 right so this is the inputs for j2 k2 see j2 and k2 is 1 1 so that means it will toggles the output so q2 will become as 0 then j1 and k1 inputs are 0 and 1 we know from the functionality of jk flip flop when we apply j 0 and k1 k is a reset right so it will reset the output so q1 also will become as 0 q2 we know always uh, j0 and k0 is given as 1 so it will toggles the output so triple zero so what is happening here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 it is coming back to 0 suppose it is entering to 6 so what is happening it is going to 7 and it should and it is coming back to by themselves as 0 right so we are not doing anything it is jump to 110 then it is uh, by itself it is going to 7 and it is coming back to 0 again right when we are up, keep on applying the clocks so that means it is called it is called self starting counter right even if it is going to 7 suppose the moment we switch on the power supply suppose it is going to sequence 7 or state 7 it will when we apply the one more clock it will come back to 0 again and it will follow the sequence Right. If it is uh, going to 6, so it will take 2 clock pulses. See, if it is going to 7, if I apply 1 clock, it is going to 0. If it is go, uh, gone to 6, so after 1 clock, it will go to 7. Then 1 more clock, it will go to 0 again. So, is 2 clock pulses required from the state 6 to coming back to 0 again. So, that is not a big thing. So, we can apply 2 clock pulses to, to come back to the sequence again. Right. So this is uh, self-starting. So this is the advantage of this you know, modulus 6 counter. But if I go to some other counter, it may not come back to this sequence. We have to make that counter to come back to 0 again. So that also we will see. Right? We will see this problem. That is the counter should go through these states. That is 0 to 3, then 3 to 5, then 5 to 6 and come back to 0 again. So first we will find how many number of flip-flops required. See, 6 or 5 means I need 3 flip-flops at least. So, the number of flip-flops will be 3. Right? Next. Once we know the number of flip-flops, what is the next step? State diagram. So, because already it is given. So, triple zero two. Then next state is 0, 1, 1. See, 3. 0, 3. Then 5. That is 1, 0, 1. Then 6. 1, 1, 0. Then it should come back to 0 again. Right? See here, see it is counting the, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 counts only, so that is modulus 4 counter, but the sequence is different way, 0, 3, 5, 6 and so on, right. And here uh, left with 1, 2, 4, 7, yes or no? So these states are left, that we will see when we design the counter like this, what happens when the counter goes through, goes to these states, right. So once we know the state diagram, what is the next one? So choice of flip flop and excitation table. So here I am using T flip flop, right? So that's why I have drawn present state and next state. Present state is triple zero. Next state will become as zero double one. Zero double one to one zero one. One zero one to double one zero. Double one zero to triple zero. So to go through this sequence of uh, state, what is the inputs we have to apply? That we'll see. See here Q2 0 to 0 so there is no change so flip flop T flip flop so if I apply 0 there will not be any change if I apply 1 there is a toggling mode so 0 to 0 means I have to apply 0 then 0 to 1 toggling mode so 1 1 to 1 so same state so 0 1 to 0 toggling so I have to apply 1 next similarly Q1 to Q1 so 0 to 1 there is a toggling 1 to 0 toggling 0 to 1 toggling 1 to 0 toggling so 
always you have to apply t1 as 1 only next q0 to q0 so 0 to 1 there is a toggling but 1 to 1 there is no toggling so 0 1 to 0 toggling 0 to 0 no toggling right so this is the required excitations see here q0 is not always toggling if it is a going through some sequence that is up counting or down counting q0 is always toggles but here we are jumping through different different states right so that's why t0 is not always one right then once we done like this so what is the next one the minimal expression so this is 0 1 0 1 but see the sequence triple 0 is 0 0 double 1 1 so where is the 0 double 1 here next 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 is 0 next one double 1 0 double 1 0 is 1 so the remaining states simply undefined or we can say unstable state so give us don't case similarly t1 is always 1 so triple 0 is 1 0 double 1 is 1 1 0 1 is 1 1 1 0 is 1 so here right next what is the next one so you have to use all don't cares right next t0 so t0 is 1 that is triple 0 means 1 0 double 1 is 0 1 0 1 is 1 next 1 1 0 is 0 so remaining we have to use don't cares then how to get this so here i can make a octet so t2 is equal to q1 right see which is common one so next t1 is i can make it as one because all are either don't care or ones then t naught see this octet i mean sorry this is quad i can make so what is this q1 bar right so this is the minimal expressions we got then now for the next step we have to draw the logic diagram so i need three flip flops one two three so I'm using positive edge triggered flip flops. This is T naught, T one, T two. So this is Q naught, Q one, Q one bar, Q naught bar, Q two, Q two bar. So what is T naught? T naught is Q one bar. So from Q one bar we have to take and give it to T naught. This is the clock. Next, what is T1? T1 is always 1. So 1. This is Q0. Next, what is T2? T2 is Q1. So apply like this. Right? So this is flip flop 0, flip flop 1, flip flop 2. Right? So this is the design of this uh, modulus 4, but the state is different. That is triple 0. First state is triple 0, then 0 double 1, then 1 0 1, 1 1 0. First, we will verify will it go through like this or not. So, initially, suppose all are zeros. This is also zero. Suppose initially Q0, Q1, and Q2 are zero, then what will happen when we apply the clock? So, this is zero means this is the one. So, one is coming back here. Right? Now, the moment when you apply the clock, so this is the one. So, it will toggle the, this output. So, it, it will come back to, I mean, it will uh, change it to one. Then this is a 1, so this is also changed to 1. So, but this is the 0, so will it change? No. So, what is the state? 0, 1, 1. Right? Next. What is the next state? We will see. So, this is the 1 means it is 0. So, 0 is coming back here. So, 0 means will it change its state? No. It will maintain that state only. Then this is a 1, so always it, it will toggle. So, 1, uh, 1 to 0. This is the 1. The T2 is a 1, that is the present state. So 1 means it will toggle. So it will change it to 1. See? 1, 0, 1. Right? Next. If I apply one more clock, what will happen? So this is the 0 means the Q0, Q1 bar will become as 1. So 1 is coming back here. So 1 means it will toggle the output. So it will it will be 0. Anyway, this is the 1. So it will always toggle its output. So it was 0. Now it will change it to 1. But this is the 0 input for T2. So will it change? No. So what is the present state now? 1, 1, 0. Then one more state. So the 1 is here. So that means this state will be 0. So 0 is coming back here. So 0 means will it change its state? No. So 0 means it will be maintained that state only 0. What happens to this one? 1. It, it always toggles. So what is the present state? 1. So toggling means it will be 0. Then this is the 1 
the t input of the t2 is 1 so it will toggle so 1 so it will change it to 0 see 0 0 0 so it is following the sequence as we required so now we'll see if the counter is jumped to one of the unstable states something like this 1 2 4 7 right suppose the present state is 0 0 1 that is 1 then depending on the inputs we will get the next state so what is t2 t2 is q1 so what is q1 here here 0 next t1 is always 1 so i will get 1 but t0 is q1 bar what is q1 0 so q1 bar means i will get as 1 so if input is 0 what happens to q2 it is maintain the same if 1 is means it will complement the q1 so 0 means i will get 1 t0 is also uh, 1 so it will also complement q0 so we will get 0 see this is the state 1 what we are getting is 2 if that state is present state net what will happen t2 is equal to q1 what is q1 1 t1 is equal to anyway 1 t0 is q1 bar what is q1 1 so i'll get 0 now t2 is 1 so it will toggle the q2 so i'll get 1 next t1 is 1 so always it will toggle so 1 means i'll get a 0 so 0 means is there any change no so what is this this is the state 4 so 1 2 4 it is coming then if it is 1 0 0 what i will get so again t2 is q1 means i will get 0 this is 1 q1 bar means i will get as 1 0 means there is no change so 1 t1 toggles 0 means i will get 1 1 so toggles 1 what is this 7 if this is the 7 suppose what will happen t2 is q1 so that means 1 1 this is q1 bar so that is 0 so 1 means it will toggles so i will get a 0 next one toggles i am getting 0 0 means will it change no same state i am getting as 1 see i started with 1 then going the sequence 1 2 4 7 and coming back to 1 again i am not going through what is the required sequence we right yes or no see we required 0 3 5 this is 6 and so on but the moment it is jumped to one of the state right it is moving around this sequence only or these states right so this problem is called lockout problem that means if it the counter is going to unstable state it is not coming back to the sequence what we required so that's called lockout problem now how to eliminate this lockout problem is very simple method is so first write down what are the sequence so, 0 0 1 0 1 0 one zero zero triple one right these are the inputs q2 q1 q0 now we know that one input i am having the clear input whenever this state comes clear all the flip flops that means so i can use as clear as one zero one zero so clear all the flip flops one double zero clear all the flip flops triple one clear all the flip flops right so get the minimal expression of this clear that is see 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 this is 0 1 q2 q1 q0 now map these values so 0 0 1 means getting 1 0 1 0 1 1 double 0 1 triple 1 1 so can i make any combinations no we cannot make now if you remember what is this uh, truth table sigma 1 2 4 7 what is this this is nothing but exclusive r function right that is i can write as clear is equal to q2 exclusive r q1 exclusive r q0 right so once any one of the state comes the clear input will be one then the, it will clear all the flip-flops something like this so again we need to draw the diagram with the clear inputs so this is the clear clear so i am using the active low clear input this is clear so clear then clear now so this is t0 t1 t2 so t2 is nothing but q1 only t0 is q1 bar so i will make like this so what is t1 t1 is always one this is q0 q0 bar and we have to apply the clock so i am used positive edge trigger clock so this is the clock now what we need to do so we have to take uh, i'll take separately one exclusive r 
that is q2 this is q2 q2 bar so take q2 first q1 so what i will get q2 xz bar q1 if this is the input and one more input as like this this is q0 what i will get q2 xz bar q1 xz bar q0 but this is active low input that means actually i'll get as one but i need zero to clear all the flip flops so just we need to use one not get here so one not get if i use i will get as zero so this output is given to the clear input so r combinedly these two can be written as exclusive not get yes or no so either you can use this one or simply you can use this one now if it is going through any one of the state then that is if it is going through 1 2 4 7 so it will uh, clear all the flip flops then again we will get the sequence as triple zero so once it is uh, getting into the triple zero then it will follow the sequence what we required that is 0 3 5 6 and come back to 0 again right any one of the state it is going so it will come back to G triple zero again so this is the design on the lockout problem and how to eliminate that lockout problem so there is another method also we can uh, make i will give the hint you can try on your own now what is the next step is so this is the required sequence and in this table only you fill that is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 double 0 triple 1 then whenever this state comes as a present state the next state should be clear that is all zeros right now make all the entries then what for this uh, present state to next state, what is the required inputs? Then use the KMAP to get the minimal expressions, right? Then using the same diagram, we can have T naught, T1, T2 in different expressions, right? So without using clear input, we can make the counter only it should do 0, 3, 5, 6. If it is going to the 2, it will come back to triple 0 again. So that you can try on your own, right? So this is about the synchronous counters design. From the past four or five lectures, we are discussing the synchronous counters only. Right? Next, we will see some previous gate questions.